I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress. This is uh, from a, a, a client that sent me this. So I figured I already started cutting it, but I figured I, I can also show you guys how to make something that looks like this. So guys, basically we are going to start with the bottom part here. So you're going to measure the person from the shoulder to where they want the, the, the dress to be. Because as you can see, one side of this is long and one side is short. But you're going to use the shorter part because that's going to be the length of even the back of this, the skirt part. So you're going to measure from their shoulder to their waist. To their shoulder to their waist. Whatever you get, you're going to subtract their half length from it. So once you subtract their half length from it, that the remaining is going to be the length of the skirt. So now you're going to, to cut the skirt. You're first going to take your fabric, fold it into two this way. And then when you fold it into two, this is the length of the skirt, right? Remember to add your 1.5, one inch of folding the edge, half an inch of joining this top part here to the bodies. And then you're going to also fold away your, um, um, whatever you decide to use. It depends on the type of fabric you're using. I'm using a stretchy fabric. So I, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to be adding seam allowance to this because the fabric is stretchy enough to contain even the seam allowance. So I'm going to be taking away um, from the, like once I divide her hip measurement by four, I just put it in, but I'm going to leave room for the zipper allowance. So, but if you're working on a fabric that is um, stiff, so you, all you have to do is to fold the fabric into two. The width of the fabric is basically going to be your hip measurement uh, divided by four. But before that, remember to fold away zipper allowance and then you're going to insert your hip measurement divided by four plus your seam allowance. That is, so guys, I'm going to be teaching this like I'm working on a stiff, a stiff fabric. So you're going to insert your hip measurement divided by four plus your zip, zipper allowance. And then you're also your seam allowance. So the zipper allowance has been folded away. So I'm going to just write it zipper here, which most times is like 1.5 inches. So I've, I've marked that here and then fold it out because this is the pattern you're going to use to you can cut this directly on your fabric all you have to do is just fold it into two fold away 1.5 and make sure that the rest of the width here can fit in your heat measurement divided by four plus extra one inch of side seam once you've done that the next thing we are going to do now is to um, start to insert our measurement so let's start to um, put in the measurement so the first thing here is the um, waist divided by four you mark that here your waist measurement divided by four plus your seam, seam allowance mark that come down here mark your waist to your hip most times it's like eight inches ten inches mark that here and then you're going to also divide your hip measurement uh by four and then add your seam allowance so that that's the, basically we are trying to draw a skirt pattern come down here subtract one inch from whatever measurement you had on the hip and then you're going to now connect it like this so you're going to connect from the waist Sorry, you're going to connect from the waist to the hip and then from the hip away down to this part here. So you see now we have our measurements here. We have our uh, our skirt pattern here. And then you're also going to come in here and insert your dart using the nipple to nipple. I'm not going to be having any dart on this cloth because it's a stretchy fabric. So you're going to use nipple to nipple measurements here. Connect it this way. Um, sorry, mark it divided by two, and then you're going to give your one inch of that in. But before that, also remember, once you're giving a that, you're going to also put back that that. So for the waist, you're going to do waist measurement divided by four plus extra two inches, one inch of that and one inch of side seam. So guys, now that we've done that, the next thing we have to do is just to go ahead now and we're going to go ahead and cut off the side, right? We're going to go ahead now, cut off the side of the skirt, and then we are going to also try to cut the front uh, panel. So, guys, now remember this is still our back panel, but with this now is what we are going to use to cut the front. So, to cut the front, what we are going to do is to fold our fabric wide enough, and then what you're going to do next is you're going to try measure from your shoulder to the length of the the longer part, right? So whatever you want the length of this longer part to be on the skirt, you already know what you want the short part to be. That is going to be the back length of this skirt and everything. But this longer part that is long, that this part that is long like this, let's say the full length of your dress is 31. That's even for the back and everything. And then the full length, uh, the, this longer part is like, let's say 36. So now you know that you need extra 5 inches more to get this longer part. So you're going to mark that 5 inches. 
more now you're going to mark it on this on your clothes on your fabric guys you can like i said you can mark it in directly on your fabric and then you're going to take your skirt pin it down take your back panel pin it down pin it down this way so i'm going to pin that down now so guys now that we've marked that so i'm going to put back this in so this is very easy to make so once you do that i'm going to also mark the waist of my skirt again so you see we have some room here this is for the extension here of this you see how this skirt is like a fox wrap it wraps in one goes in and one i'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see one goes in and then one covers it so it depends on you how the width how long you want the one going into the you can do your nipple to nipple measurements you can use that as the second part where this will wrap so my my nipple to nipple like i said before was four inches so you can do four inches distance from the center and then you do another four inches or you can take it even further in because the more you wrap it the less slit you have so if you're more on the bigger side and you don't want this wrap to be too obvious like when you sit down it opens up I would advise you go even after your nipple to nipple that you insert now that's let's say your nipple to nipple divided by two is uh, four you've already marked four inches to get this that and then to mark the second four inches i would advise maybe add extra two inches to it so you can go in a little bit more because i don't know if you go into where your the next that stops if it wraps to where the next that stops i don't know if it will open up when you wear it so to be safe go in extra one inch or two inches more or 1.5 inches more so let's say my dad would normally be somewhere here sorry somewhere here i went in a little bit more so now from this point now remember the, the the length of the body of the skirt is supposed to be this line here this our line here so what i'm going to do now is since this is going to now be our new center line which is where the next nipple to nipple is supposed to be right you're supposed to insert like a dart on this side coming towards this side now right there's a, there's supposed to be another dart somewhere here now so what you're supposed to do at this point is just to take like at this point now it's just like how you make a wrap dress guys it's just the same method now but except this time around you're trying to bring it a little bit in so what you're going to do now is from the length of our skirt because remember the sides of the skirt needs to be the same length it needs to be the same but the but the center doesn't have to be the same so because the sides of this skirt will meet the back which is this one here you need to use the same length of the side of uh, the back to measure it so now what i'm going to do this extension of five inches i'm just going to bring this down pointing towards the edge of our cloth point it towards this time so you see this part here so now i'm using this to cut the two but i'm still going to remove it so that i can show you guys how you're going to cut the um the other one so let's just go ahead and cut this out now as yes, i'm just going to go ahead and cut off that bottom part now that extension by five inches once i do that i've already cut the sides to be the same now i can open it up but before you open it up try to mark your center line next thing i have to do is i i try to mark the center line right on both sides so that it will not confuse me because if you can't mark it like you're working on your fabric just go ahead and notch it it's better even to notch it so that you know where the center is right you notch it at the top part like this so now that i've notched it the next thing i have to do is to separate it now so you pick the side you want to be the shorter one set the back side aside let's say i want this to be the short one so what i'm going to do is you're going to take look again from the side of the curve how many inches you want from the side where you want it to stop so let's say you can do you can do five inches away from the side or six inches away from the side and then bring it out and then you're going to connect it to the tip of this point here so once you connect it to the tip of that point every other thing will be cut out so all these sides now will be cut out i'm going to cut just to watch what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut this out and then i'm also going to cut this bottom part out because if you look you see it's supposed to curve to meet the length of my skirt from the back like this you see so now this side is done and remember there's also supposed to be a dart here that is if you're working on a fabric that has that doesn't have stretch so you see this side is done so now for the second part now you see the second part is looking something like this at this point so what we are going to do is to take this one now remember you want this one to be the longer one so what you're going to do is to take it the way it is now and figure out where you want the length that pointiest part to be and then you're going to just connect it this way and then mark it 
so i can do from this point now all the way down here right i can do all the way down to this point and then i'm going to mark, cut this out like this cut this out this way and then i'm going to take it now and place it on top and make sure that that's why i said to to rule this center line you see the center line or the notch that you made you know that this center piece the two center line this center line and this center line will meet each other here and then the the others the, the one at the back with my um, with my zipper allowance remember we got zipper allowance on this here so this is our zipper here right zipper so we are going to open this up now and then the back panel will be just one side like this this one will be one side like this so this is basically our skirt here so you see what it looks like the length is still the same here except on this side but if you feel like this this side length is still a little bit like maybe by half an inch is longer just go ahead place your ruler and chip off any excess there that is making it a little bit longer on that side just blend it into this line but that's basically the whole point of this so all you have to do is just to go ahead pick your dart in front and at the back and then you're going to maybe use bias to fold this edge or you can use lining if it's lining that you're working with and then you're going to then uh, sew close the sides right so close the sides and sew the top of this just hold it together make sure that once you put it put this together like this after you've picked your dart on all the sides sew this down so that it will not move and then you know you have your front panel looking this way it's holding this together it will not move so that when you come to join the top bodies you can always join it so i'm just going to pin this down so that we can go over and see our front our top uh bodies so just sew this down immediately you finish go to your sewing machine and then use like half an inch or so to just sew this so that this is the whole point so this part doesn't move you know that you have once you sew this down you know that you already have your front bodies of your skirt that's after you finish the edges right the, the the edges from the inside and the outside so that's basically how you do this one so now we are going to move over to how you're going to cut the top bodies so guys if you feel like this opening is still not enough for you um just remember that when you sit down this is going to open up more but still if you feel like the opening you have is not enough you can always go back in and chip off some more like draw a, a straight line again and cut off some more like this and then fold it away so i can always chip off more from the underline and then you see my slit is coming up a little bit more so it depends on you what you feel comfortable with so at this point now let's move over to the top the next thing you have to do so the same thing goes for the back all you have to do is to fold your fabric this way fold the fabric into two and tuck in like 1.5 for the back zip right once you tuck it in then you draw it in like your front panel you just put in your bust divided by by four plus your seam allowance and then your waist divided by four plus two so that you can be able to put in the dart and one inch of side seam just drawing your basic bodies like the front except you already tucked in 1.5 for the zipper so once that is done sorry once that is done you're going to take it now and place it on the on on a fabric that you've already folded into two this way this now is for us to be able to draw our front panel you take the another fabric fold it into two now and then once you fold it into two you're going to go ahead and um mark just draw out everything like how you would want it to be except remember we're trying to make an off shoulder here so i'm just going to trace out everything and then remember it depends on you the, the extent you want this uh like we said before the thing you have to do when you start to mark the front panel is just to take that body put it in the one from the back put it in pin it down and then mark the center line and then you're also supposed to mark your dart remember the front dart like i said it depends on you the extent you want to move your dart to you can do after putting the next dart like four let's say your your nipple to nipple once you mark it right from the center line you put in your next dart and then you can do one inch after that is is where you want the line to cross over instead of doing it exactly on where the nipple to nipple just so you can have enough coverage right so the next thing you have to do is on your back panel mark your shoulder to where you want the off shoulder to be so from the tip of your shoulder to the length where you want it can be four inches it can be five so let's say you you did four inches you mark it now and then you go ahead 
ahead and cut that off right before you start cutting on your front panel you go ahead cut it off in a straight line like this and then that is done so our back panel is done now so now that we've marked it so what you're going to do is that same point where you marked it in at the back you're going to mark it on your fabric guys remember like i said you can do everything directly on your fabric you just have to go ahead and mark it make a straight line like this so you can know where exactly that line goes over at your back and now at this point you can remove the back panel and then you can go ahead now and cross over from this point to where you marked it one inch after your 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 dart or one in, or two inches wherever the line is mark from that your armhole to that point now so this is now our new uh our new front panel so if you want you can just give it a curve you don't have to do straight line if you feel like you can just give it a curve like this so that you can just get more coverage but it depends on you what you want to do so at this point now you can go ahead and cut from this point and then go all the way straight like this go into the armhole and then now you can cut every other thing is the same the armhole you cut off the armhole and then you cut off the side right so basically at this point now you have your front panel so all you have to do now is remember there's supposed to be another dart here especially when you're not working with fabric that is stretchy that's what i'm trying to emphasize here so now at this point now you're going to also before you even cut it um you're also supposed to notch on that straight line so that you know where the center is so once you've done that now the next thing is to place the center to the center right place the center of this line to the center that's where that notch is supposed to be place the two of them together and then you know that this is your center line and remember you're supposed to also have another you're supposed to put it that just the same way we did in front you're supposed to pick a dart on this pick a dart on this so this is the front and then after that you're going to also have your back panel so at this point now you can open up the back panel and the zipper allowance that it has so that you can be able to um put it back in at uh, where it's supposed to be so guys for the back another thing you, you're supposed to do is to remember your back length is always longer shorter sorry so you're supposed to take away four inches from the center back that's sorry one inch from the center back so you're going to go up one inch at the center where your zipper is supposed to be right that part there you're going to go up one inch but you're going to bring out the zipper part now so go up one inch from that edge here and then blend it into the side seam this will help your zip to relax better so i'm going to go ahead and cut this off and if you want if you don't want this line to run straight across you can also come down here by maybe half an inch or so or just give it a curve using your free hand just to blend it in if you don't want it to have a straight line just running across your back so now at this point you can put this at the back so you see you have your back panel now if i open it up sorry this is our back panel so this is our back panel and then you are going to insert the front panel on this side so guys you see now that I've placed it everything is uh equal so you just place it this way put the back panel put the front pick your dart and then now you go over to the sleeve thing you have to do is to cut your sleeve like a basic sleeve long sleeve or whatever sleeve you want to use and then that inches that that place where you cut out before you uh, marked a straight line across like this to your off um to this part right this distance of this ammo because remember your sleeve is supposed to now come in into this opening but this part here let's say is four inches here or three inches or whatever it is five inches just measure wherever it is before this part was cut off right before it was cut off this part was cut off whatever it is measure it so let's say i have about three inches what i'm going to do is come up to the top of this sleeve here and then i'm going to mark three inches distance from this edge mark it three inch three inches distance on this edge mark it and then just like that connect the two together this way right this is going to now be the opening of my sleeve and then i'm going to just cut off that part i'm just going to take it cut off that excess that opening now and then i have the opening of my sleeve so i'm just going to take the rest of the sleeve and insert it into this part this will help it fit properly so this will help it fit exactly how it's supposed to be once you cut it the way i just said so once you do that now the next thing you're going to do is just to cut the band that is going to now run around the neckline so you're going to cut your band so guys now you've cut everything so first we have the back panel here that looks something like this with the zipper allowance right we have the back set aside 
then we have the front on one side on this side then we have the two sleeves that are going to be fitting into the two sides just like the way it is now and then we have our skirt pattern that is like this and then we have the back of our skirt that looks exactly like this so this is the back of the skirt sorry so our skirt for the back and then the front of the skirt so once you couple everything together we'll come back and then cut one whole straight band that will go from right from the edge of this here and then come across from the sleeve go over to the back panel come across the other sleeve and then go inside of this band here is done you see what it looks like so i just basically close this side close this one and then i turned it over on itself because i'm not using lining this is a stretchy fabric like i said it's stretched so um this is it here i finished the body this is what this skirt part looks like so now it's just for me to join the top to the side you see it also has the zipper allowance for the back i'm still going to open it up a little bit more but right now this is what we are working with so i'm going to set this aside so i can show you guys where i am at the top now so see the top here uh, i know it's looking all over the place but i've finished everything i'm just trying to put in the band so let me turn it so you guys can see so guys this is what it looks like now so far so basically what i did here is just to join the body and uh you see i didn't join it to the edge because i i know that i'm still going to be adding this uh color thing here so you see what you're going to do is just to take a piece of cloth that you are sure will go around from one side of this starting from one side of this part here go up to the shoulder cover and then go back to the back if you want you can sew it to the point where it's going to fit into the zipper and then you sew everything close if you want you can just close it up ahead of time and then this part here is going to enter into the zip and it will look something like this it depends on you what you're going for so basically what i did here is after joining my sleeve i had the rough end looking this way i had the ends looking this way so i just took band that looks like this about five inches of width but for the edge you're going to reduce the edge about come up here by like let's say after folding it into two come up here by let's say one inch and then and then use your ruler to blend it into the line just blend it in in a curve like this because you want to narrow it a little coming from that end and then i'm going to cut this part out once i cut it out i'm going to close up this edge and flip it over so guys you see what i did here so once i i turned it over after cutting it out i sewed it close on the edge and then i flipped it over like this so now the way it is now i'm going to take it this way go to one side of this here and then i'm going to start to sew it down just like i did here so i just took it the way it was put it this way on the edge like this and then sewed it down all the way from this part here to the neckline sewing it looking this way inside you see this is the right side of my cloth you see the side you see the side so i sewed everything this way so that when i'm done i can just hem this edge and then this color is going to just overlap this way so it's going to just fall on top this way it's just going to fall over this way so that's why you have to sew it from the inside like this so it's facing the inside so everything even to up to the back in one straight seam like this you see everything is looking this way after this i'm just going to trim off all the excess 
and then sew it and then flip it over this way if you want you can even top stitch it just so it doesn't fall over you can just top stitch it this way on the on the side of the cloth you just fold it move the seam this move the seam towards the cloth and then sew it on top of the cloth all the way to the end it will help it not to turn in so i'm going to do it on both sides and then take the skirt join it to the body and put in my zip at the back so you see what the sleeve is looking like right now so i'm going to finish up my putting the zipper and that's basically it here i finished the dress for her i later decided to close up the zip allowance i kept for the back here and just close it up uh, and continued the band as one straight band since it's a stretchy fabric but if this was a non-stretchy fabric i would need that zip but since it's stretchy i could do without the zip so that's why i removed it for her and this is basically what the dress looks like and I also added just a pin just to secure this part in case of anything. So that's basically it. I just added a, a, this type of pin here just to help hold it together for her. This is the back. So I closed up the seam in the center here and just added two darts to the side to help give it more shape. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for your time. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.